Welcome everyone, this is Mondan Raghavan and this video we are going to see what is Tracer Viewer in Playwright. As the name suggests, it is going to trace our all execution from start to end and we have some more advantages when you use the Tracer Viewer. So before all that, we will just go to the official documentation about the Tracer Viewer. Here you can see, it's, again, it's the same thing. So you can select the Java option and you can go to the getting started by clicking on the docs and you will click on the Tracer Viewer. So this is actually recording over everything as I mentioned earlier and you can see forward and reverse what happened in each stage and you can check before and after snapshots also. So let's go here and see what is the code snippets they have mentioned. Here there is some setup to just start your tracer and the same way you will be stopping the tracer after you execute everything. So this is what we are going to do in the same code snippet that we have done in the previous time. In previous video that we have discussed, there is some context object. However, this will be based on the different requirement from our side. So today we are going to see the first requirement for the context. In the context only, we are going to enable the tracer. So let's click here and let's say context. And there will be a tracing option under the context. And click and you are going to start. When you start it, you need to give some options for the context. So that we are going to use the tracer tracing option actually. So let's say new tracing and these are the start options. And these start options will be something that screenshot we are going to enable true. And we can chain it actually. So again, set snapshots true again one more thing as per the documentation set sources this time i will be giving false because if you give the true you will be getting some different error however first we will give us a true and we will see the error then we can fix it as a false so this is about the context in starting right for just starting the tracing at the end also we need to make something in the same way instead of your start option we will be making the stop option again it is the tracing start options instead of here it will be stop option so in stopping, we are mentioning the path to generate the report or to generate the entire file or bundle, which will have entire snapshots like before and after and all the network calls about our execution. So after setting up these things, as again, as per the documentation, we will just execute this command. Again, we will discuss this command in detail. Let's go to the notepad. And again, just copy paste. Go to the start. Again, Maven. Again, we are executing as a Java file. Again, the Java file is from CLI command. For the CLI, we are giving the options, show trace as the option, and we are giving the file name, which has all the bundle of the execution. So with this understanding, we will just again copy and go to the terminal. Just make it clear. Again, just right click and paste. Just enter. Here you can see the entire execution, what we have done. It is like a timeline, even you can navigate to the any timeline. It totally took 2.2 seconds. So in that we can see all the execution steps. On your left hand side, you can see the, what kind of actions you have done, what kind of metadata. For example, when it was started, what is the duration? What is the Chromium engine we have used? Or let's say, what is the width and height of the viewport? Is it a mobile or not? And how many pages and how many actions? Total events. If we go to the actions, each and every action will be mentioned here. Like we navigated to that and we just clicked on that and you can see the action is clicked. So you can see the red dot. And before just clicking what was the status, after clicking what was the status. Since it's the only click, we will not see any difference actually. Let's say go to the fill. The action is something you are doing in this action. Or let's say in this place. And before filling the data in the username, it was empty. Then after filling, it was a standard user. In the same way, you can see each and everything, what happened, what action you have done, what is the before snapshot, what is the after snapshot. On your right hand side, you can see the console outputs or let's say call, which kind of calls you have done, what, what kind of duration you took. Okay, and what is the selector you have used and what is the value you are entering if you are typing or let's say you are entering or filling some values. And in the network tab, you can see a different calls. 
for example if you go to load something let's see i'm going to navigate here right so when you navigate what are the different network calls even this one can be retrieved from your network tab from your execution but after execution you need to get the details and that too only for the let's say the api call so for that we are getting this network tab so all the api calls will be mentioned here so from here also you can get some details on your network for example if you are getting any api problem or let's say api response problem you can see it here and at the top you can see there will be a time travel so you can do the time travel in the previous thing and you can see the output and if you just close it it's gone now just minimize this one now in simple we have executed some command before executing the command we have mentioned to start the tracing and to stop the tracing so to start the tracing we have mentioned everything set uh, let's say sources snapshots screenshots everything and it's fine now now this command we will again revisit so this is the command as we discussed in the previous video we can minimize this one by going into the bat file this time opening the new bat file here open with text editor and here mentioned everything same only difference is like the last two arguments replacement with the variables percentage one and percentage two if you go to the command line the percentage one will be replaced with the show trace and percentage two will be replaced with the trace dot zip so here after you don't need to type entire command you can just go to the terminal and just bring it down or in the side way both are fine okay i will just minimize on your right hand side here you will just type cli tab cli runner bat where came and here you are going to just paste only the show trace trace dot zip considering you have the trace.zip in your root folder here you can see in root folder you have the trace.zip this was created because we have mentioned the tracing in the starting and ending just paste it and again same thing you can just open the trace zip so here you can see the same output and you can just click and go to the different actions you can understand everything so this is all about the tracer however as per the documentation we have another one to open this one this is something called trace view or trace dot playwright dot dev so here you can just drag and drop it the file so you can see the output so for example let's say i'm just dragging just go here and under in the same way here here also you can use all the options again but again i would prefer to do it in a local because i don't want to make you depend on some website or something so that's the reason we can use the same maven command and one more option is like you can go to the play rate right click and just click on the run as run configuration here again you can create one more maven configuration like a tracer viewer and you can just copy paste the same thing because there is no input from our user side so that's the reason we can directly copy paste the same command that is mentioned in the documentation excluding the mvn since it's a maven configuration we don't need to mention the mvn in the start and just click on run so here you can see the same output right and next time onwards you don't need to open again you can just click here and click on the tracer viewer So this way, this tracer viewer can be used for the debugging purpose or let's say you want to see what is happening to the entire journey and you want to go before and after, you want to see what are the changes happening in each and every stage. In that scenario, we can use the trace viewer. So this is all about the trace viewer. So in this video, we have seen what are the different ways we can just enable the tracer viewer or let's say run the tracer viewer. In the starting, you will be enabling by using the tracing option with the start new options. And ending, you will be again stop options you will mention, and you will mention the path where it has to save all your bundles. And you have seen how to execute the Maven command directly straight forward from the terminal, and you have seen how to run from our customized CLI runner that bat file, and you have seen how to run from the let's say Maven configuration that is from the Eclipse side. Just go to the same run configuration. You can see you can create the run configuration also. You can just do it. So we have seen totally three ways to execute the tracer viewer. So this is all about the tracer viewer. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.